Hi everyone! Welcome to Quilts on Tour. This is a little tutorial for our spring mix block swap. This is for the flip-flop block. And this is, um, block is probably geared more towards beginners than um, intermediates, but anybody can obviously do it. Um, so this is what if the finished block will look like. Um, it looks more complicated than it is. It's actually a really easy block to do. So to get started, you're going to need um, a rotary cutter, you're going to need um, a ruler, and you're going to need um, two different fabrics. You're going to need a dark fabric, um, and in the dark fabric you're going to need a piece that's 8.5 by 6 and a piece that's 3 by 6. And in the light fabric you're going to need a piece that is 6 by 6 and two pieces that are 3 by 6 each. So the first thing that you want to do is take your eight and a half inch piece of the dark and a three by six piece of the light and you're going to attach those just like this. So together just like this. Um, and I use the quarter inch seam on all of these. So after you sew those together, you're going to lay them down on your mat and you're going to cut it in half and it, that's three inches because these are six inches wide. So you're going to cut that in half. So you'll lay this at the three inch mark and you'll cut it in half. And this is why it's called the flip-flop block because you take one and you flip it and you're going to sew that together at a quarter of an inch and it'll look like this when you're done. And then we're going to set that aside. And then you're going to take your six inch block from your light piece, your three inch block from your dark, and your three inch block from your light. And you're going to sew these three together. And you'll get a block that looks like this. And you're going to cut this one in half again too. So we're going to lay it on the three inch and cut it in half. I did that here. So once you cut it in half, you're going to bring that first piece and put that in the middle. And again, we're going to flip flop. So you're going to take one and flip it. You want your squares to be on opposite ends. And you're going to sew this piece to this side and this piece to this side. So then you'll have your flip flop block. It's quick and easy. Uh, you don't have any seams that you need to line up. Um, and it's um, a little bit forgiving for those who have a hard time keeping a quarter inch seam um, because you'll end it, actually end up with a block that's a little bit larger than ten and a half. So then you can just square it to ten and a half. So have fun making your flip flop block. Thanks. <laughs> 